in my mind, I've been dancing my whole life. In terms of technically, I started when I was 14, getting real training from LaGuardia High School. But I'd always been a mover in my house. We always have music playing on the radio. It's part of the way we grew up. So it's always been an internal beat that I felt from the morning to night at home. So it just became a part of me easily. I was three years old, so I don't remember anything about that day from my family sharing experiences. It kind of paints the picture. We've heard is, I think, what you've heard, which is that there are two different planes hit the two towers of the World Trade Center. My aunt was actually in the towers, but ground level, and was able to get out before any of the rubble fell. And uh, my uncle was a first responder there, and he developed cancer as well. 10 years later, he passed on my 13th birthday. So that's why I'm so connected to this event. So I, I feel that because I wasn't there, his, the stories he's told me that I, I'm able to take with me now have always resonated. So in my mind, all that he's done and all that he represents as a person, to me still, even in, as an angel, has stuck with me. So I know that that day has meant a lot to us, but it's always represented the best of America, how much we can overcome. So that's what I feel, I think about that day. God calls, fear falls, falling into the night like tongues on fire, incinerating the sky shot. Fall back, fall back, fall back to your heart fills, and again, the time tide torment and turbulence and tone, torture eye, thunder clapping, clapping. Most plainly put, it's a, it's a ritual for peace. The message is to create a mandala in a labyrinth at Lincoln Center that with the three concentric circles, we make a ritual for peace. So as, as we hear the conch shell, we hear the music playing, our breath is what connects us. In the midst of all that happened in that very spot in the city, we're creating, a, 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 we're creating energy that's peaceful to send out on a day that we feel much mourning. At that exact time, we create some love to send out that I think resonates with people as they pass through the city see people in all white. It's just a, a, a day to remember not all the loss, but that we can still rise above. Then my first time, it was about a, a rainy day. So it was, it was drizzling as we left. So it had not rained the entire time. As we were in the processional out, the drizzle started to come as if there was like washing out the earth for us after we created that ritual for peace. And then the second time, was solely, totally different on Zoom. I mean, we couldn't feel each other as much, but we always took a moment to breathe together, to connect with the dancers that are through the screen. How can you look at me in the eyes and realize that I'm still with you? And then as for now, finally being able to touch and be able to be in person and feel each other's breath and warmth again is what we need. After this crazy year, it feels good to be back together again. I think that every year that we do it is a new meaning because the world shifts from a month to, to two years from now, the world is constantly evolving. So the peace naturally evolves. There's always something new that's brought to the table. I remake the house where only hope lives, building in a brick, light as the new day. And again, and again, I am awakening. Jacqueline Bouglisi has the idea that Whatever we feel in, in the times now must be incorporated into the work. It is the root of the work. So for now, there could, there, there could be racism or any kind of prejudice in the world, any kind of hatred that we're feeling, especially in this pandemic that we've all realized has awakened us, has been put into the work. So a lot of the improvisational moments, we need to tune into that, those kind of feelings and let that embody the work. That's what we do as artists. It's about telling the human story that wherever we are in time, the artist represents who we are. Now, what do you hope viewers or you know onlookers feel when they see you guys out there? I hope that they remember that we are the strongest nation on this earth. That through anything that's thrown our way, as long as we are able to see and understand each other, to have empathy for one another, and then channel that peace so that we can better connect with one another to be an example of what love is, what care for each other is, and to succeed as a nation because of that. So I want that for, us, for them to see us in white and know that there is hope, despite all that we've gone through as, as, a, as a world, that there is hope and we're, and we're able to lead you there. So just join us, <laughs> join us, love with us, hug one another and we'll get there. Light as the new day, and again, and again, I am awakening.
I am weak.